Welcome to this video on Acuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics by Exam Sam. In this video, you'll have a review of statistical principles and probabilities. Then you'll see a statistics and probability practice test with 15 questions. The answers are provided after each question in the practice test. Here are the instructions for the Acuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics practice test with a focus on statistical principles. In this video, you will see practice statistics and probability questions for the Acuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics test. You will see questions on mean, mode, median, range, and probability in this quiz. Pause on each question to give yourself time to work out the answer. Answers and in-depth explanations with formulas are shown after each question. If needed, you should also pause on the answer screen to allow yourself time to study the solution and take notes. Get Exam Sam's Acuplacer Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics online practice exams or PDF downloads. The questions in the online exams and PDF downloads are in the exact same format as the real exam. There are in-depth explanations on the online practice tests and the PDF to show you how to answer each type of question you'll see on this part of the Accuplacer test. Let's go now to the questions. Here is Acuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test Question 1. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Now let's look at the answer to question 1. The correct answer is B. The mean is the same thing as the average. To calculate the mean, you need to add up all of the numbers to get a total. Here our total is 28. Then divide the total by the amount of numbers in the set to get the mean. We have five numbers here, so 28 divided by 5 equals 5.6, which is our mean. Here is the Acuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test Question 2. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go to the answer to Question 2. The correct answer is B. The median is the middle value in a data set. Here we have the set 1, 5, 6, 3, 8, 7, and 10. Your first step is to put the numbers in order as shown here. The median is the middle value, which is 6 in our set. As you can see, we have three numbers lower than this and three numbers higher than this so 6 is exactly in the middle. Going on now to the Acuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test Question 3. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go now to the answer to Question 3. The correct answer is C. The mode is the number that occurs the most frequently in a data set. Here is our data set again. As you can see, the number 7 occurs three times in the set, but the other numbers only appear twice or once. So the mode is 7. Let's have a look at the Acuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test Question 4. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go on now to the answer to Question 4. The correct answer is D. The range is the highest number in the data set minus the lowest number in the data set. Here is our data set again. As you can see, the highest number is 14 and the lowest number is 2, so the range is calculated as follows. Moving on now to the Acuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, Question 5. 
Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look now at the answer to question 5. The correct answer is A. Probability is expressed as a fraction. The event is the number of possible desired outcomes, and the sample space is the amount of all items available. The event is expressed in the numerator, and the sample space is expressed in the denominator. Our desired outcome is getting a peppermint and we have five peppermints at the start. So the possible desired outcomes are five. We start the day with five peppermints, six chocolate kisses, and eight toffees, so add these up for the denominator. Five plus six plus eight equals nineteen. So the probability of getting a peppermint is five over nineteen, which can also be expressed as a 5 in 19 chance. We'll have a look now at the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 6. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look now at the answer to question 6. The correct answer is D. The number of possible desired outcomes goes in the numerator. We started the day with five peppermints, and one has been given out, so there are four left. The total of all available items goes in the denominator. We started the day with 19 candies, but we've handed out two of them, so there are 17 left. The fraction for the probability is expressed as 4 over 17, or a 4 in 17 chance. Up to this point, we have reviewed all of the statistical and probability principles on the Accuplacer Next Generation Quantitative Reasoning Algebra and Statistics Test. We'll now have a look at more Accuplacer practice questions on these concepts. If you have not taken notes so far, you may wish to go back and do so now. Moving on to the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 7. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go on now to the answer to question 7. The correct answer is A. First, add up all of the numbers for the total. Adding up all the numbers in our set, we get 807 as a total, as shown here. There are 10 scores in the set, so divide to get the mean. 807 divided by 10 equals 80.7. Let's have a look at the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 8. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go on now to the answer to question 8. The correct answer is B. Here is our set again. Your first step is to put the numbers in order as shown here. The median is the middle value. When you have two items in the middle, you have to average them to get the median. Here we can see that 84 and 85 are in the middle of the set. We have four numbers less than these two and we have four numbers higher than these two. So adding 84 and 85 together and dividing by 2 to get the average, we get a median of 84.5. Moving on to the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 9. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's go on now to the answer to question 9. The correct answer is B. Remember that the mode is the number that appears the most frequently in the set. When no number appears more than once, we say that there is no mode. We'll have a look now at the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 10. Please read the question and then pause to solve. 
Let's have a look now at the answer to question 10. The correct answer is B. When you have a negative number, you still have to subtract it to get the range. Here is our data set again. The high number is 975, and the low number is negative 5. So subtract as shown to get a range of 980. Here is the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test question 11. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look at the answer to question 11. The correct answer is A. There are two yellow outfits, so that goes in the numerator. There are five blue outfits, six green outfits, two yellow outfits, and one purple outfit, so add these together to get the total of 14 as shown below. Then set up the fraction. Two in the numerator, which was the amount of available yellow outfits, and 14 in the denominator, which was the sum of all of the outfits. Since 2 is the common factor for the numerator and denominator, we then simplify the fraction to 1 seventh. Moving on to the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test question 12. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look at the answer to question 12. The correct answer is D. Mr. Smith has two blue hats, three green hats, two red hats, four purple hats, five orange hats, and three multicolored hats. So at the start he has 19 hats in total, as shown below. He has given out three hats so far, so he has 16 hats left. He's already given out a purple hat, so there are three purple hats left. So the probability is 3 over 16. We'll have a look at the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 13. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Now let's have a look at the answer to question 13. The correct answer is C. First find the total time. He calculated an erroneous average of 58 minutes after dividing by 10, so the total time for all his races was 580 minutes. We find this simply by multiplying 58 by 10 to get 580. Now divide the total by 12 to solve. 580 divided by 12 gives us the average of 48.3 minutes. We'll move on now to the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 14. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look at the answer to question 14. The correct answer is D. If the cards are replaced in the deck after they are drawn, the sample space is always 48. We had 12 of each of the four kinds of cards for a total of 48, as shown here. The desired outcome is hearts, and there are 12 hearts in the deck, so the probability is 12 over 48, which we simplify to 1 over 4. Finally, we'll have a look at the Accuplacer QAS Statistics Practice Test, question 15. Please read the question and then pause to solve. Let's have a look at the answer to question 15. The correct answer is C. Find the total ages of all the homes. We had an average of 10.5, and we know there are six homes, so all of the years together equal a total of 63 years old. Now find the total ages of the other five homes. 
we add the ages of these five homes as shown here to get a total of 37. Then we subtract 37 from the total years to get the age of the sixth home. 63 minus 37 equals 26 years old for house 6. Get our AccuPlacer quantitative reasoning algebra and statistics downloads or online practice exams. The questions in these materials are in the same format as the real exam, and there are in-depth explanations to show you how to solve even the toughest math problems. Please see the links below the video. That is the end of the AccuPlacer quantitative reasoning algebra and statistics practice test with a focus on statistical principles and probability. Thanks so much for joining us, and please subscribe to our channel for more great math practice videos.